Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy, the 134 down back. So, yes, I am sick today, but uh, I'm still going to do a video for you guys. This video is my top three favorite games of 2015. Yes, I know this is late, and I kind of thought of it on the spot. I was like, why not just do the video? Uh, because this is kind of what I want to do. Uh, so, it's only top three because I only usually, I don't really play very many games throughout the year. I probably play at most, probably like eight or nine games. I usually own like eight or nine games. So, here you go. Here's my top three. I am sorry I am sick today. It's kind of a struggle right now. So, uh, hope you guys enjoy. Number three, Metal Gear Solid Phantom Pain. Now, I have never played a Metal Gear Solid game before, and guess what? This is a great game. I have actually not completed the whole game yet still, uh, because I get sidetracked with other games, etc., etc. This game is fantastic. I love the game. Um, why do I like the game so much? Uh, I think the storyline is kind of cool. Uh, some of it is kind of confusing at first. Gun gameplay is great. Uh, I like the whole difficulty that the silencers don't last forever. That's sweet. I like that idea. It was a really cool idea. Uh, yes, I do suck at this game. I will be honest. Like, I don't know what I'm shooting at right there. I'm just like, what the heck going on? Uh, it was very confusing at first, but after you start getting into the game, you will love it. Uh, yes, it can be, it can be very nerve-wracking, but uh, after about maybe like an hour or two hours into like the free area that you can go walking around in, it's nice. Your base is also sweet. I love the base. I don't know why I'm jumping around like that, but whatever. But yeah, that base you also have is sweet. Your mother base is so cool. So uh, yeah, this comes in at my number three. Uh, what would I probably rate this game? I'll probably rate it at around a 8.5. Actually, 9. Let's give it a 9 because honestly, this game is fantastic, okay? Uh, so, yep. Coming out of my number two spot, Rise of the Tomb Raider. I love Tomb Raider. The newer version of Tomb Raider, at least, I love a lot. Okay, so this is not the same old Laura Croft that we always knew, or Lara. I don't know how they even say the name, but this is not the old one with the shorts. I like the newer one. I like how she's a little bit more of a tough one to handle. Uh, I think it's sweet, she's cool, she's a good character, I think the voice actor is great of her, and I like the story that goes on around her, and this actually has tombs in it. Weird, right? Tomb Raider having tombs in it, right? Yeah, yeah, compared to the other one didn't have tombs, but still, this game is fantastic, uh, graphics are great, and you know what, this game was such a struggle to actually stop playing. I was literally playing this game, getting the footage for you guys, and I wouldn't stop playing, literally. I accidentally recorded like two hours, like an hour, hour and a half of this game, because I just got sidetracked and I just kept playing the game. A uh, fantastic game. Uh, I like the whole leveling up system. I think the leveling up system could do a little bit more work on it. Uh, it's a little bit confusing every once in a while, but it works fine. Uh, it's not a huge, um, uh, anymore it's not a huge um, arrow using it's more pistol action uh, and I would like to get to the point where we use double pistols I have not yet but uh, I like to get to that point at some point but still this game is fantastic yes it probably goes away from using the arrow like using like a bow like they did in the first game you use the bow like all the time now you use a bow a little bit less uh, and you do a bunch of these other things you got like these little um, book things that you can listen to and them to read which is really nice so uh what i give the game probably about like a nine point like five or something like that uh probably a 9.5 uh if you're did you like it's a must own like all three of the games are must own but this game's fantastic I can now this game was quite obvious fallout 4 yes i love fallout and this is much much biasy from me as my number one spot, I could probably put either the other two games on my number one spot. Also, also I did not add The Witcher into this review, which I'll talk to you guys about that later. But still, Fallout, love the game. This game's fantastic. Um, oh my gosh, the the scenery. I loved the scenery. Everything was nice about the game. Everything looked great. I love the action that you could do in the game. I love the pit boy. I love the pre-war stuff you went through. I loved everything about Fallout. Yes, and at some some parts of the game, Fallout does actually Fallout kind of like almost technically Fallout would technically be a quote-unquote disappointment, even though it's really not a disappointment. Uh, it's a fantastic game. Love the game. Uh, some people say it's, it didn't live up to the hype. It, it, 
it probably did not uh, honestly it probably did not live up to the max hype but still it got pretty darn close for a game that would basically hype sanity about the game like the like the fans of fallout just wouldn't stop and i'm one of those guys i love fallout i love everything about fallout uh yes and i'm a huge bethesda fan and i love everything about bethesda and yes that can be a little bit of a problem but uh i really don't care um and uh i like the different routes that you can take the three different factions you can join uh yes it can be a little bit disappointing here and there uh and uh, there's not a ton of replay value after you finish the game, basically. Uh, so, um, what I get Fallout uh, easily a 10 out of 10 because all like maybe like if you take parts of the game, it's not as good. But uh, but by but all of it together, it is a fantastic game. You will love the game, and I love the game. So, see you guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the top three now why I did not add the witcher into this game um because i actually uh the witcher is a great game i just couldn't get into the witcher um honestly i just couldn't get into the witcher as much and i didn't feel like i should review that if i didn't play enough of the game so see you guys uh pizza see you guys later i uh, hope you guys enjoy the top three let me know what your top three games are or top five top ten whatever works for you guys so see you guys peace out see you guys later hope you guys enjoy the video bye